Congratulations, mules, class of 2020. Our Savior's Lutheran Church would like you to know that we have seen your hard work. Believe it or not, you have spent about 13,000 hours in your classrooms preparing for the rest of your lives. That's a lot of time invested in reaching the finish line, only to have a virus stop you short. Every one, once in a while, every once in a while, the sports world will cover a marathon of runners crossing the, the finish line. And most of the time it shows a runner in great form, gliding across the line, arms raised. I've seen that hundreds of times without being moved. I nod and I think, well, good for them. But their face uh, and accomplishments, they fade from my memory eventually. What I remember and what makes the news are those runners who hit the wall just yards away from the finish line. The runner runs for over 25 miles with the end in sight. Just yards away, they hit the wall. And, uh, and uh, they fall. Their calves cramp. Their legs are rubber. Sometimes they return to their feet only to have their legs drop out from under them again. What do they do? Well, sometimes another runner will come and stop their own race and and to help them, you know, pick them up and support them as they hobble across the line. Sometimes the runner will crawl or uh, even roll across the line. After months of training and strict diet and planning, the runner is faced with a great disappointment. What will they do? No matter how they make it across the line, those moments of seeing how they handle that disappointment and adversity become the moments of great drama and inspiration to those of us watching. If I'm honest, I actually remember those runners more than those who just glide easily to the finish. 2020 is a year unlike any that I have experienced in my lifetime. My father is 78 years old and he cannot remember anything like we have been dealing with in his lifetime. You are young and you just don't know how unusual this whole thing really is. And like those exhausted runners, you have found yourselves in this senior year, unable to glide through prom and graduation. Most of you, only a few weeks ago, realized that you were on the ground. You didn't know the school had closed when the school closed down that that was your last day practicing with your team. You didn't know that it was the last time you were going to see your favorite teacher. You didn't know that the last game you played in was the your last. The plans you made faded and the finish line vanished and you found yourselves with your legs swept out from under you. Let me say right off the bat, I'm sorry that happened to you. That I'm sorry that your ending was disappointing. That you lost your ending with a cheering community, celebrating your achievements, and your nearly 13,000 hours of work. But I want to praise all of you for your endurance, for crossing that line on wobbly legs. Your resilience in the face of adversity will be memorable to this community. When you're at your 10-year and your 20-year and your 30-year reunions, you will still be sharing the story of how COVID-19 swept your feet out from underneath you. But I also imagine that you're going to share some stories about how facing that adversity, both as individuals and as a class, was foundational 
for your success in life. Many of us didn't face that kind of life-altering adversity until much later. You have had to turn the finish line of your race into the starting line of your life by announcing, this is how I overcome adversity. This is how I get beyond my disappointment. This is what I do when I fall, when I'm weak, when my legs are swept out from under me. Will those stories you share show you carrying another person across the line? Will they show you using every ounce of your energy to roll or crawl across that line? Yes, all of these will be the stories you share because humans love to share stories where loss is turned into victory. We are inspired when despair is defeated. St. Paul says in Romans chapter 5, Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. It sounds kind of abstract, but the most important thing said here is simple. You can't lose. When it comes to God, you obtain victory through faith because of Jesus. In the same way, you attain victory through suffering because of Jesus. God has made us right with himself through Jesus. He has declared peace between you and him so that your lives can be filled uh, with peace and with hope. Victory uh, through glory we understand that. But victory through suffering. Well, suffering produces endurance. And endurance produces character. And character produces hope. And there's that word, hope. We Christians have the same hope, whether we glide across the line or whether we wobble and fall. In either case, God is with us. And he shares his glory with us. He is with us if we suffer. That foundation of Christ's grace inevitably leaves, leads to hope. In your graduation, I see great hope. Hope that is greater than all you have suffered. I see you not as wobbling across the finish line. As much as you are taking your first steps of the race that your life is going to become, there will be more stumbling. There will be more disappointments. But if you run the race knowing and trusting Jesus, victory will be inevitable no matter what life throws at you. Remember this time of COVID. And remember the lessons of it. This may be the first time that Jesus has lifted you from the track, put his arms around you and carried you across the finish line, giving you the support of his legs when yours were knocked out from under you. But it won't be the last. Jesus wishes to see you cross that line victorious even if it means carrying you when you have nothing left in the tank. Even in these uncertain times, Christ has been carrying you and will carry you through the beginning of the rest of your lives. May God's peace sustain you in today and tomorrow and all of your tomorrows 
Run your race well. Amen.